I was wondering if you could use the Canon G7X Mark III uh, as a camera for live streaming through your laptop and uh, you can so I figured out what to do. Um, the biggest thing is that it runs off uh, an internal battery which will run dry quite quickly so you want to uh, attach it to an external power supply and it's not very clear what kind of power supply you need. You can get a 190 euro a power supply from Canon itself, I think, but that's not really necessary because the only thing that you will need is a USB-C PD power charger. Uh, I got this one from Samsung, travel adapter, 45 watts. It says on the back that it has a PD 3.0 and it works perfectly. So this is all you need. This is like 30 bucks, which is uh, quite a bit cheaper than the, uh, the official Canon one. So what you do, um, the main thing that you need is you need an adapter that has a uh, that has two USB-C sides because otherwise the PD will not work. Uh, so and this one does. So this is a 45 watt charger. I think you could go with a little bit lower too, but I just want to be sure. But what it, if you do what you do is you put the charger in, and if I now power on the camera, you'll see how, that it's running off the. Uh, of the battery on the top there. And if I insert this, the battery will turn solid gray, which means it is now running off the external power supply. You can remove uh, the battery even, and then run it off the power supply, but I don't know how good that is for the for the device, but it's possible. So that's ju that was just to check if it's uh, actually running off the power supply or not. Now, the other thing is that you need to get the video signal because there's a USB uh, sorry, an HDMI uh, micro connector here. You need to get that into your PC. That's another story, but uh, there's another setting that you can uh, change. Uh, because if you plug in the HDMI connector, you will get all this, uh, this data. You will get that on the feed as well. So that's not very nice for streaming uh, or shooting clean video. So what you, go, what you do is you go to the, the camera setting and then to menu and then it switches off of course then to menu and then uh, under camera 5 there is HDMI info display and if you select that you can go to either 4k output clean or uh, full HD output clean and clean means simply that if I select this yeah it tells me that I can do everything now but if I, uh, on my screen here, it still shows all the data, but if I now connect it to an HDMI connector, the output feed will be clean. There's nothing in there. So it's just a uh, clean screen. And that's it. Um, so get yourself some uh, USB-C PD connector uh, and a way to connect the HDMI micro to the PC. And you're all set. And what I did, I got this uh, video capture card which takes HDMI and puts it into USB. Uh, these can be quite expensive online. So normally they will be uh, around 100 bucks, but this one was actually 15 and it works perfectly. So I'll uh, put a li link in the description as well. Um, that's it. Good luck.